Hey there, if you've clicked on this video, I guess you wanna know how to make a monthly budget within Google Sheets. Now this is actually a follow-up video to a video I did on sort of how to manage your money generally and my top 10 tips on how to do that. If you haven't seen that video first, you can click on a card or check out the link in the description to see that video first. But if you're not interested in that, you can just watch this video standalone anyway. Either way, hope you enjoy and hope you find this useful. Thanks. Hey there guys, welcome to this brief tutorial on how to create a monthly budget within Google Sheets. So here I am in Google Sheets, sort of within Google Chrome. What's great about Google Sheets is it's similar to Microsoft Excel, so it is just, it's a spreadsheet tool, but it is accessible on all of your devices and it works sort of on the cloud server. So any saves you make on any of your devices, it updates on all of them automatically. So if you get Google Sheets for Android or iPhone, you can also access whatever you make on here from your phone as well. So what's good is that we can see there's a template gallery at the top here and one of the options is a monthly budget. Well that's convenient because that's what we want to do so click on that and this is actually in my opinion a fantastic way to get yourself started with creating a budget and tracking your expenditure. So if you're not too familiar with spreadsheets generally, that's okay. You don't need to be able to know how they work necessarily. I'll talk you through sort of the main aspects of this spreadsheet. But I want to draw your attention first to these two tabs at the bottom here. One called summary and one which says transactions. If you click on the transactions, it brings you to this page here. And I'll talk more about this in a moment. So on the summary, we can see that we have what we say here is our monthly budget. We've got our starting balance over here. We've got uh, these nice little graphs with your start balance and end balance. So this is all looking at a particular month. So this is how much money you have at the start of the month, and this is how much money you have left at the end of the month. And automatically, the spreadsheet tells you your increase or decrease, hopefully increase, in total savings, your sort of change in money that particular month. And at the bottom here, this is essentially your budget. So you've got your planned and actual for expenses, the same for income, and here we actually have a budget against the number of categories, how much we actually spent, which automatically is calculated from the transactions tab, and then the difference here. So you'll notice that this is currently all in dollars. Now, if you don't live in the US and don't use dollars, you wanna change that, of course. So to do that, if we go up to File, go down to Spreadsheet Settings, you'll see you've got locale here. Default is United States. So click on that, change it to your own country. For me, it is the UK. And if you like, you can change your time zone as well. This isn't that important for this spreadsheet, but while we're here, let's change it anyway. GMT, baby. Save settings. So now our default currency setting is gonna be whatever we've selected, whatever country we've selected. So notice that this still says dollars. That's because we need to change the formats. Quick way to do that is to select all the cells within this sheet. So the cells are just the little, little boxes. So to do that, click on this little gray box top left here in between the A and the one. That then selects all of your cells in this sheet. So then we can click up here and you can see it says format as currency, this little icon, which should be your own currency. If I click that, oh, got a bit of an error. Just click okay, because Stu said it's fine. That changes everything to your currency. But it's also changed my percentage in total savings here, so I wanna change that back. So select this cell, go to this little percent sign, and that fixes this for you if you click OK. So that's back as percent, great. Now go to your transactions tab, similar thing, select your column C, which is your amounts, just select your currency, and do the same for column H and again, change to your currency. So now your spreadsheet is in your own home currency. Good stuff. Now let's get started. So within this spreadsheet, anywhere that you have a peach colored cell, like starting balance, or any of these peach cells down here, these are things that you can put data into. So please don't change any of the cells that aren't peach, because they're all automatically calculated, and if you mess with them, you'll break the spreadsheet. <laughs> So let's start by putting in our starting balance for the month. So how much money are we starting out with? Default on this spreadsheet is a thousand. I'm gonna leave it as a thousand, but if you change this, you'll notice that this cool little um, bar chart over here changes as well. If I make it zero, your starting balance is zero. If I make it 10,000, you can see our starting balance is 10,000. So we'll leave it as a thousand for the sake of this example. Now, if we scroll down, 
This is where we create our actual budget. We've got our expenses, we've got our income. So this is where you've got to take some time to think how much money typically do you spend on certain categories. Your categories are here on the left. These are your default options. You can change these to whatever you want them to be. So for example, on my own spreadsheet, I have a category that is groceries. I have one that is, um, for example, clothes. But you can have whatever you want. Whatever you want to track, whatever you typically spend money on, you can have a category for it. And there's space at the bottom to add new categories as well. There's custom category one, two, and three. You can name these whatever you want. If you spend a lot on strippers, for example, you can put strippers in. If you spend a lot on McDonald's, you can put McDonald's in. Whatever you want, you can sort of, you know, create your your own, um, you know, categories in here. Also, if you want more than this number of categories, you can also add in something at the bottom here as well, I believe. Uh, let's just do a test. It does, it does actually kind of put these in, and I think this also filters through. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. We'll get onto this in a minute, but yeah, you can, if you like, add in extra categories at the bottom here. We can just sort of paste that and then make it test. We can copy these cells down if we like. So I'll, I'll remove that for now, but just know that if you wanted to, you can actually put in more categories at the bottom. So once you've decided what your categories are, then you want to put in what your, your budget is for that particular category. So say in a particular month, I spend, I don't know, $50 a week on groceries. So as this is monthly, we want to do 50 times four. So we put in 200 would be our planned expenditure for groceries. And we'll go through and I'll just put some random numbers in, in here. I'm, I'm literally putting in 50 for all of these because it's, it's easier. Uh, and then you'll see that my planned expenditure after all of this the total shows at the top here is £1,750 in this case. That's what I've got planned spending. So if I know, for example, that my... So this is called paycheck. I would call this salary personally, but you can call it whatever you want. Um, if I know that I'm only getting 1500 every single month from my salary, already I can see that... Hold on a second. My planned income is less than my planned expenditure. So I've got to, I've got to cut some of these. If, if that's the case. Um, so maybe I need to change my personal to 25, spend um, a, little, a little less on clothes, for example. And eventually you sort, of, you sort of make it so that, you know, hopefully your income is greater than your planned expenditure. So once you've created your budget here, the next important step is to go to your transactions tab. So this is where you'll be logging all your money going out and your money coming in. And what's great about this spreadsheet is that when you put in your amounts and your categories, this automatically updates your actual expenditure over here. And then from there, you can see exactly where you are in terms of your expenses and your income and what your current balance actually is. So it's a really powerful tool for having oversight and awareness over your money. So over here, if we put in our date, 1st of January, 2017, I paid my rent of 500. So that's in my category, I guess, home in here was our category for that. You can put a description in as well. So I can say rent January. So then if I get income, say on the 31st of January, 2017, and that's my paycheck, I can say that Okay, I'm getting my 1500 pounds in. Description is paycheck. So category here, currently, so I changed the name of the category from paycheck to salary. So there's a little error here to say that this is invalid. So I've got to click this drop down option and here are the options which are automatically generated from the options here. So if I changed custom category to test, for example, in transactions, in the drop down, test appears. So that's pretty cool. And then if I click test, automatically we can see that I've spent 1500 pounds this month within test. Brilliant. So I'm gonna change this back to salary and we can see in summary that, hey look, I've earned 1500 for salary. And again, you can see for planned income, we've got 1500, my actual is 1500. So as the month goes on, you can fill this up with how much money you're spending so say I spent some money on 
clothes, Playboy jacket, for example. That was a bit more expensive actually, that was, that was 40. And again, you can see that this filters through and shows underneath clothes. Oh, hang on a second. I've spent 15 pounds over my planned budget. So also that highlights red. So I can see that there's a bit of a problem there. I've overspent. And once you see that you've overspent in a particular category, you know that then I've got to spend 15 pound less elsewhere. So perhaps I can even change my budget to say, I can't quite um, spend as much on car fuel this month. So I'll lower that to 35 say, to try and keep myself on track. So this was a very, very quick whistle-stop tour of this spreadsheet. Um, if you would like, I can actually do a more in-depth sort of talk about this spreadsheet or, or sort of things that you can add to make it a little bit more um, in-depth for your needs. If you like, I could also go through my own personal spreadsheet, which to be honest is completely different to this, but it's a little bit insane. It's kind of evolved over the course of like eight, nine years, covers a lot of stuff. I've got like, 12 or so tabs at the bottom of my of my personal spreadsheet. So it's a little bit crazy. But if you'd like to see that, I wouldn't mind showing you um, an example of my spreadsheet. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see that. Uh, if you have any questions on this spreadsheet generally, please feel free to leave a comment and, and I'll try and get back to you when I can. But yeah, I hope this wasn't too fast. Just have a play around with it and you'll find that this really will help you manage your money and you'll be able to see exactly where you are in terms of actual spend against your planned. And if you make a monthly budget for each month and call this, say January 20XX, whatever, whatever month and year it is, you should definitely name your, your budget um, and make a new one for each month. And you'll find that, yeah, you'll start getting much more on top of your finances. Thank you for watching this tutorial video on how to make a monthly budget in Google Sheets. Now it was quite a quick video, but I do hope you find it useful. If you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more videos. Also, if you haven't seen my top 10 tips on how to manage your money, you can go check out that video as well. I'll leave a link to that somewhere. Either way, have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and matane.